Ever wondered how to make perfect profiteroles at home? Dreamt of biting into these puffy, sweet spheres of joy, filled with cream and topped with a glossy chocolate glaze? Well, the good news is, it's easier than you think. The first step to making these delightful treats is preparing the pastry. Start by heating half a cup of water, a quarter cup of unsalted butter, and a pinch of salt in a saucepan over medium heat. As soon as it comes to a boil, add half a cup of flour. Stir vigorously until a smooth dough forms, then remove from heat and let it cool for a few minutes. Next, it's time to add the eggs. Crack two large eggs into the cooled dough, incorporating one at a time. Mix until you have a glossy, smooth mixture. This forms the base of our profiteroles. Now, the baking begins. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Scoop rounded spoonfuls of the dough onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake until they puff up and turn a beautiful golden brown. This usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes. While the profiteroles bake, prepare the filling. Whip one cup of heavy cream until it forms soft peaks. Sweeten with two tablespoons of powdered sugar and a splash of vanilla extract. This sweet, creamy filling is what gives the profiteroles their indulgent character. Once the profiteroles have cooled, it's time to fill them. Slice each one in half, spoon in a generous amount of cream, then replace the top. The final touch, a rich, glossy chocolate glaze. Heat half a cup of heavy cream until it's just about to boil, then pour it over four ounces of chopped dark chocolate. Stir until it forms a smooth, shiny sauce. Drizzle this over the filled profiteroles. And there you have it, perfect homemade profiteroles. These bite-sized delights are sure to impress at any gathering or even as an indulgent treat for yourself. The steps may seem intricate, but with a little patience and practice, anyone can master the art of making profiteroles. So why not give it a try? Remember, the joy of cooking comes not just from the delicious end result, but from the process itself. Happy baking!